Hey fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to another tutorial video. Within this video, I'm going to be talking about Amethyst Geodes within Minecraft 1.17. I'm in Minecraft 1.17.1 and I'm on the Java edition. I'm hoping this video will also help with people that are on Bedrock, so console, pocket edition and so on. But within this video, I'm basically going to tell you how to find Amethyst Geodes naturally in the world. But also, I have an online tool that can actually tell you where your nearest Amethyst Geodes are. And also show you all of the locations of the Amethyst Geodes within your Minecraft world. But just before I get into the video, I just want to remind you I do lots of different Minecraft content. So if you do enjoy the video and found it useful then please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the content. But basically, just very briefly, Amethyst Geodes were added into the game in the most recent update and basically they generate underground and it basically houses the new Amethyst blocks as well as the Calcite block and I believe also there's smooth basalt or some kind of basalt rock that's also that also generates in the geode itself. But naturally within the Minecraft world you find Amethyst Geodes between Y level 0 and Y level 70. So there's no point checking within these mountains or these peaks over here. It needs to be underground. Now each chunk within the Minecraft world, so each 16 by 16 area that's classified as a chunk, there's just under 2% chance for the Geo to spawn in there. So they are not um, the like most rarest thing ever, but they don't appear in every chunk. Now, I would advise you to try and find an Amethyst Geode for yourself, but if you want to find a Amethyst Geode very quickly, then please keep watching the video and I'm going to show you this online tool. This is an online tool or a website I've used before in order to find Nether Fortresses very easily. But just before I show you it, we need to get a few things first. So in order to find the nearest amethyst geodes to us, we need to first find out what the seed is of the world. Now, in Minecraft Java edition, you just do slash seed in the text area. And when you actually do that, it will actually output the seed for you. And if we open up the text chat right here, and we hover over the seed, we can actually click it to copy it to the clipboard. Now that is important because we want to be able to paste this seed into the online tool that I'm going to show you. Now, the next thing we need to know about is we need to know our location in the world. Now, this will be different for Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock. I believe for Minecraft Bedrock, you have to actually enable the coordinates to show within your Minecraft world. But for Minecraft Java, if we use the F3 key right here, if we look on the left hand side central in the screen, there is a bit of text that says block colon and then three numbers. Now, the two, we need two of these three numbers, the first number and the third number. So in my case, it's minus 52 and the third number is 35. Now, now you need to note these numbers down so that you can use the online tool. So now I'm going to show you how to find out where the nearest amethyst geode is to you. All right, everyone, this is the online tool that I'm going to be showing you today is the Amethyst Geode Finder. And this is at chunkbase.com. I've used this website before and it has its own Amethyst Geode Finder. Now, I'll leave the link for it in the description of the video so that you can actually get to this page. So go into the description to get the link. Now, as you can see down here, we have the finder itself and there is an input field here where we can actually paste our seed. So you're going to want to paste your seed that you copied from your Minecraft world. Now, when you actually do that, the graph or the graphic underneath should update. Now, the next thing we need to do is select the version. So basically, you can see here that we can select 
uh, Java edition, but if you're using Bedrock, you have to select the Bedrock option in this drop down. If you don't do that, it, it'll be basically telling you wrong data or wrong values. So make sure to select the correct version. And then what we need to do is at the bottom underneath the graphic, we can actually input an X and Z coordinate. So the reason why we do this is so that we can input our current position. So I noted that down a moment ago. So we've got minus 52 and 35. Now, when you select the go button, it will actually zero in or put your position in the center. Now, as you can see, there is an Amethyst geode directly next to me right here. And these purple areas are basically signifying which chunks in the world actually have an Amethyst geode. Because basically Amethyst geodes, there's only meant to be one Amethyst geode in a chunk. Now, as you can see, there are loads within the Minecraft world, but there's only like the odd few around and they are scattered all over the place. Now, I could select this one, but I think that's going to be a bit close by. I want to pick one that's a bit more like further away. But basically, select the Amethyst Geo that you want to go to. So let's say I want to go to this one over here. Um, what I then do is if I hover over the Amethyst Geo I want to go to, in the bottom right underneath the graph or the graphic, there should be some text that says geode and then an at symbol and then three numbers. Now, those three numbers are basically telling you the coordinate of the geode in that chunk. Now, what we can do is we can make a note of the first and third number that we actually did before. So minus 105 and minus 31. Now, we can now use that information to find this amethyst geo. Now, it also looks like it's at y value 34, which is what the second number is. So we can now try and find it within our Minecraft world. All right, everyone, I'm back within my Minecraft world right here, and I'm now gonna try and find that amethyst geo. So I'm going to travel so that I can get to x minus 105, which is around here. I then need to go to minus 31, which is off in this direction. So we're going to be going off into this birch forest right here, and eventually we'll get to the point where we can actually find it. So I am now at the location where the amethyst geode actually is. Now, I might even be able to find it going down into this cave right here, perhaps. Um, I know it's only a small little cave, but around here also, we should be able to find it. So it'll be right around here. So let's just dig down here. And if we dig down, we should eventually find the amethyst geode. And as you can see, we've actually intersected the basalt and the calcite layer. And here is the amethyst. And as you can see, boom, there we go. The amethyst geode we were trying to find. So we, you can actually use this to find any amethyst geode in the world. Now, it's important to note that in very, very rare circumstances, the finder will tell you that you can find an amethyst geode, but it might not be there. But I have found that is very, very rare. If that does happen to you, then just pick a different geode or a different purple square in the graph and go to that one instead. And also make sure you're using the set, the correct version on the web page because if you're using the wrong version in the drop down, then basically the graph will be telling you incorrect details for your Minecraft world. All right, everyone, that's about it for this Minecraft tutorial video. Just a few little details about Amethyst Geodes in general, but also the amazing chunk base online tool that allows you to find it very, very easily. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and you've been able to find as many Amethyst Geodes as you want. But if you did enjoy this video and found it useful, then a like on the video would be very much appreciated. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, then my Twitter link is in the description or you can use the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Duraki Series on Twitter. 
And if you want to see more Minecraft tutorials, Minecraft Redstone, Minecraft Mods, Minecraft Seed Showcases, all kinds of different content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I really do enjoy engaging with the viewers on the channel, so be sure to leave a comment if you want as well. And I'm hoping to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal, so if you could help me achieve that, then that would be absolutely amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.